Hey there, so if you follow my channel, you know I had a storm uh, hit my shop and destroy it pretty good. Well, one of the things that destroyed in the storm was my uh, jumbo heat press, which I use for Kydex sheaths. Well, something fell and cut the cord clean off. I'm gonna show you how to install a new end. Okay, so the ends are gonna be frayed like this. Okay, so that being said, the best way to deal with these is to snip them off and start with nice new ends. So there you have three, you have three ends ready to go. Now when you open this up, this connector, you're going to have a green screw, that's for your ground. You're going to have a brass screw. There's a silver and a brass. The rule I always remember is brass is black, so that leaves the silver one for the white wire. Brass black, silver white, green ground. Now these three ends right here, you're going to cut them just long enough. To fit into the clamp portion of the prong on the new plug, which I've done here. I'll show you how they go together. Okay, here's one important tip. Before you go to put this prong end on right here, slide the cover on. I've done this more times than once, and uh, I have forgotten to put this on get everything tightened up you get to the end have your end on and oh no you can't put that on you have to take everything apart it's not fun just want to let you guys know make sure you don't forget okay so what I do is I spread these out in the order that they're gonna go on green up black to this side and white to the forward portion of the video here so I'm going to put this in here like so. The green is in. Grab my screwdriver here. Just tighten it down. Just snug. And you end up with the wire in like so. Repeat for the white and black. Alright, so there you have the attached wires. I'm going to slide the cap on here, or cover, and it's going to line up, those three holes line up with these three captive screws right here. Like so. And let's go ahead and do that right now. And oh, also, there's one of the screws that is keyed to fit in the cover. It helps you line it up. So there we go. Screw it in like so. It's only a quick couple turns. And don't let that fool you. It's all, it's, it's literally, it's at two, three twists. One, two, three. Just like that. It's not a really long, drawn-out thread. Finish that up. You're going to want to capture the, the cord in the back. Snug it up like so. I just go even back and forth. Until it's nice and snug. Not trying to crush these things. End up with that. And there you have it.